What is up, people? Unreal Rex here, bringing you guys another gameplay commentary from me to you guys because I love you guys and pick a double kill up right at the start of the match. Good way to start your streak off is with two kills at the very start of the match. But guys, let's get into today's topic and this gameplay is all about the gameplay, dogs. All about it. Well, I'm doing a tip video and this is solo tips for Monfer 3. How to get gameplays, Moabs, good scoring games when you're playing forever alone status when nobody's on and when you just are you just have to play some call of duty but no one's on to support you so you just have to play by yourself and hope the best and these are some tips that you incorporate into your gameplay so you can be a boss playing solo first off i want to start off by my number one tip is play cautious and more reserved if you're not running with a full team you can't be expecting people to watch your back, cover your flanks, cap all the positions yourself, or set up. You, they ain't going to give you map advantage. They might. If you get some good people, some good randies, they might set up the map to where you want it. But most of the time, we know it's a gamble when you're playing with randoms, and they might just go wherever, like, a, wherever. So the key to playing solo, oh, wait, triple kill on the flag. Get off the flag, people. But anyway, the key to playing solo is just play a little bit slower than what you normally would. I do, and it's a good tip that a lot of other commentators try to point out if you're going to be playing solo. Just slow slow your roll down and play a tad bit slower, guys. Not saying you have to camp or anything, but slow your game down. Don't be rushing to spawn because, like I said, you have nobody watching your back. No one, no one covering your six, and you might get shot. So... Just slow your pace down, play a little bit more cautiously, and you should do fine. Other, another tip, tip number two, tip number uno plus uno, is use the guns you're most comfortable with. Like for me, it's either the MP7, the ACR, or the PP90, the squirty squirt gun, are the guns I'm most comfortable with in pretty much any situation. Those are my favorite guns in the game, and those are the games I like to roll with when I'm like feeling challenged or if I'm playing solo because when you play solo you don't want to be outgunned you want to give yourself every advantage for every situation and so you want to use the guns that you're most adapted to the guns that you favor the most and the guns you use the most because you have the most skill with those guns and they will help you win gunfights and all that good stuff and since you're playing solo you need every advantage you can possibly get so just keep that in mind use guns that you're extremely comfortable with and you'll define that aspect another thing is stay away from your teammates and watch the map extremely closely when you're playing solo that means if you're playing domination watch the flags when the announcer comes up on the in the game saying we're losing a we're taking B be thinking like man that might cause the enemies to flip might flip spawns I need to start watching out especially if you're in the area of the map where that's taking effect like if you're over at C and you just have C and B and your teammates are taking A, you want to realize that they're going to start spawning at C so you need to get ready for gunfights and know where the spawns are to get ready for those gunfights. You have to be prepared. You have to have extreme a map awareness when you're playing solo. You got to know what's going on. You got to pay attention to your mini map. Pay attention to the flags if you're playing a game or a, like domination or whatever objective it may be if it's uh, demolition, pay attention to the bombs and the announcers because those will tell you when people are spawning and what you need to prepare for. So have map awareness and stay away from your teammates. And right there I pick up the Moab. Stay away from your teammates. And why I say stay away from your teammates is because they most likely are not going to give you any good significant cover. They're not really going to be watching your back, especially if they're not teammates that communicate. And most of the time when we play Call of Duty, we all know people don't play with their mics in or they just don't talk at all. They're in party chat or whatever, talking to their friends. So if your teammates are not communicating or in general, stay away from your teammates because they're just going to take your kills, slow down your kill streaks. You want to be away from your teammates because that's where the enemies are going to be. The further you're away from your teammates, the more enemies are going to be around you and the more kills you're going to get. So stay away from your teammates and you'll get more kills. It's that simple. Another thing is 
just always focus. Like I say this no matter what tips I give, but just think about your movement and your map awareness. Movement and map awareness are key to no matter what type of gameplay you're getting because they, they're essential. You just got to be extremely aware, especially if you're going for MOABs. You got to be extremely aware of every situation possible. And that's just, that's fact, people. It's fact. You have to be aware of what you're doing if you're going for MOABs or any type of good gameplay. You just have to be aware and think of things. But, guys, this commentary is wrapping up to an end. Sorry to say. So, guys, if you can, leave a like and a comment. And if you're new to this channel, as always, take a chance and click subscribe. I'm Unreal Rex. Later.